marvellous. Now, all the Impala are moving off, but they're not alarm calling. They're staying at a safe distance. And Chris Rogue, you're watching and you're one of our premier hyena identifiers and you say you can't identify these guys. They're giving chase to the Impala. Or they're thinking about it, certainly. Impala now scuttling off. This one's blind in this right eye. This one's blind. Right eye, yeah. ah. Brian reckons that one there, the one on behind, yeah, this one. is blind in its right eye. Yes, I did see a flash of sort of a white cataract there. <laughs> Very cool. So we, I'm just going to wait here, Brian, and see that they come out. Mm. Mm. That's the wrong call, isn't it, Brian? We should move around the corner. Now the Impala have all gone scuttling off towards the left, and if you're wondering why they don't give chase, they're not fast enough. They can run forever, but they don't run very quickly. And those Impala keep them at a distance. They're coming out now. They will hunt from time to time, and especially in East Africa. But out here they tend to be more scavengers. Those upturned tails are very indicative of something going down, as it were. They're on a boundary, they've picked up scent of something they don't like, they're not happy with. That looks like a big female in the front there. Crystal, you reckon that this is Corky, so a less dominant member of our Juma clan of hyenas. That's probably the big female you're recognizing. I must say, I didn't get close enough to be able to tell that. Um, and Kuma, is that right? One of the males. And another one called Kala. I don't know that one at all. Thank you, Crystal. And if you're wondering, everybody, how, or if perhaps you're a new viewer, how on earth they know who these hyenas are, we spent months watching them at their den, learning their different identifying marks and features before they absconded north over our boundary onto another reserve where they've been for, ooh, what now, Brian, about five months odd I would have thought. Now I'm tempted to try and follow them but it's very thick through there so we might just turn and go down towards Twin Dams. 